How long should you listen to healing frequencies for them to work? I totally get that question all the time, and here's the answer. It's easy, but it requires you to do something you may not be used to, which is to trust yourself. I'm David Wong, the frequency expert, using healing frequencies and custom affirmations to empower your subconscious mind, and I'm here to encourage you to trust your feelings. These frequencies are not some kind of magic spell. You can't just hit play, sit back, and expect miracles to rain down, or can you? Actually, scratch that. Sometimes it's exactly like that. I've heard stories, loads of them. People tell me they felt this huge shift after tuning into 741 hertz, like their voice just broke free from a cage, or they were swimming in this ocean of love, listening to 639 hertz, and that other frequencies resonated with them in profound ways. But here's my golden nugget of advice. When deciding how long to listen to healing frequencies, the most important thing is you gotta trust yourself. How's it making you feel? If it's like a warm hug for your soul, why not stick around a bit longer? If it's bad, no stress. Just hit stop. It's that simple. Listen to your heart. Let it guide you. Whether you're in for a quick tune-up or a deep dive, it's all good. And if you want to listen a bit longer, you can go to my website to listen to the frequencies. Stay as long as you like. There are free, powerful, energy-boosting frequencies that can help you energize. Now let me ask you, how long do you listen to healing sounds before feeling different or better? Share your experiences with me in the comments. Like and follow for more videos like this. Before you even think about closing your eyes for the night, I've got a powerful practice you've got to try. Trust me, it's a game changer. Throughout your day, whether you're chatting with friends, scrolling through social media, or just going about your business, you're constantly picking up energy. Some good, some not so good. And by the time you're ready to call it a day, you're carrying around all this extra weight, energy that's not even yours. Ever felt drained, irritated, or just plain overwhelmed at the end of the day? That's all the negative vibes piling up. Now here's the kicker. You can actually clear all that stuff out before you hit the sack. Imagine going to bed feeling light, peaceful, and genuinely happy. Here's how you can make that happen every night. It starts with your third eye. That's your energy hotspot, where you absorb and sense all the energies around you. Before you dive under the covers, take a moment to focus on your forehead, right where your third eye is. Rub it gently in a circular motion and envision yourself wiping away all the day's energy residues. As you do this, say out loud, I release all the negative energy I've absorbed today. I let go of the worries, the stress, and the noise that's not mine. I reclaim my peace, my joy, and my energy. Really feel each word as you say it, letting the intention set deep. Turn this into your nightly routine. It's simple, yet incredibly effective. Not only will it help you sleep better, but it'll also set you up for a brighter, more positive tomorrow. So, why not give it a whirl tonight? See how much lighter you feel when you wake up. Who knows, it might just transform your mornings, and hey, maybe even your life. If you're finding this practice helpful and are curious about taking your energy cleansing to the next level, you might want to explore the energy cleansing frequency available in our store. This specialized frequency is designed to enhance the natural cleansing process you've started with this nightly routine. By using the energy cleansing frequency alongside your affirmations, you can amplify the effects, making the release of negative energies even more profound. It's like giving your energy field a deep clean, ensuring that you're not just shedding the day's baggage, but also reinforcing your aura with positive vibrations. This can help you wake up feeling even more rejuvenated and ready to welcome abundance into your life. How do you feel after trying this affirmation for a few nights? Have you noticed a shift in your energy or mindset? Share your experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it's working for you. Like and follow for more videos like this. Did you know you can regrow missing or damaged teeth with a tiny device that gives off a very specific frequency of ultrasound? Just like other great inventions, I wonder where this device disappeared to. So, there was this guy, Ryan Smith, a hockey player who got a puck straight to his face while playing. That day, his smile changed forever. But hope was not lost. Things started to get interesting when researchers at the University of Alberta were onto something that could have saved smiles like Ryan's in the future, they discovered a way to regrow human teeth using ultrasound. Yeah, you heard that right. This genius named Tarek El Biali was playing around with ultrasound on rabbits for something completely different when, bam, he noticed their teeth started growing like crazy. Then he thought, why not try this on humans? And guess what? It worked. People were growing new teeth in just a month by using this device for 20 minutes a day. The original machine was a beast, too big to be practical. So, LB Ali teams up with this nanotech wizard, Ji Chen, and together they shrink it down to something you could practically use at home. They were dreaming big, thinking this could be a one-and-done treatment for missing teeth. They even got a patent, 
And there was talk about this hitting the market in just a couple of years. Imagine that, a world where losing a tooth isn't a big deal because you can just grow a new one. Dentists, especially those treating athletes who know a thing or two about losing teeth, were all over this. They were seeing a future where dental disasters on the field or ice weren't so disastrous after all. But despite all the buzz and the hopes riding on this tiny miracle worker, it just vanished. Poof. Gone. No one knows what happened to it. This invention that could have changed dental care forever just slipped through the cracks. And that's the story of how a real-life invention that could have made tooth loss a thing of the past now vanished. What do you think? Would you have used it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and follow for more videos like this.